Now, President Bola Tinubu has removed the Federal Capital Territory Administration out of the Treasury single account. This move is expected to pave the way for enhanced progress and growth of the FCTA under the leadership of Yesom Wike and give him more control over finances. The move, which allows Wike greater financial autonomy over the FCT, was announced at a news conference on Friday in Abuja. The TSA, a federal government policy that requires all government revenue to be deposited into a single account, was introduced in 2015 to improve transparency and accountability in government finances. Kunle Adegoke, SAN, discusses the reform being carried out by the Tinubu administration in FCT through removing the territory from TSA and the establishment of an FCT Civil Service Commission and what impact it will make on improving governance in the territory. Good afternoon, Mr. Degoke. Good afternoon. Well, thank you for being here. Just wondering, do you think it was essential, the removal of the FCT from the Treasury single account, was it really a crucial move to enable the FCT to carry out developmental projects and provide infrastructure from your perspective? Thank you very much. A critical assessment of the policy of the present administration with respect to the federal capital territory is to ensure that the FCT is able to function effectively as to be able to make the capital a place presentable to the entire world as a community occupied by not only civilized people, by, but by progressive people. And to this extent, it is important that everything should be done to make sure that the federal capital territory regains the prestige that the designers of the capital territory actually had in mind when it was created. And it is to ensure this, that financial autonomy because I'll characterize this as a form of financial autonomy, is being guaranteed by the federal government so as to make sure that the federal capital territory does not fall into the states that Lagos states eventually found itself under the previous regimes. You will agree with me that the designers, the original ideas of what Lagos should look like, eventually got lost as a result of over-centralization of management of the affairs of government, and in the process of which we were not able to keep the design, the original master plan of Lagos under strict implementation. But with what we are having right now, with respect to the federal capital territory, the federal government is doing everything to ensure, under the present administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinobu, to ensure that the federal capital territory will not fall into the crisis that Lagos eventually found itself, by which its original master plan was eventually distorted. In order to be able to critically achieve this, the master plan of Abuja must be carefully and strictly preserved. And to be able to achieve this, it requires some capital intensive efforts to make sure that we are able to achieve this goal. It's along this line that the government has decided that the federal capital territory be removed from the treasury single account to pave way for a good measure of financial autonomy for the maintenance of the master plan of the federal capital territory. Right, and thank you for that. Now, we do all agree that, of course, the prestige of the federal capital territory is very important. But is it more important than good governance? We know that the Treasury single account is all about transparency and accountability. Now, once you create financial autonomy, does this create a conducive environment for good governance? Ensuring good governance goes beyond just only one single method. And it goes beyond just one single yardstick or step to be taken in the process of ensuring that there is good governance in a society. If you look at it, we are talking here about the financial management of the federal capital territory vis-a-vis -vis the budget of Nigeria. However, 
there are some structures in place to ensure that where the Federal Capital Territory Administration is falling behind in its designs, is falling behind in its responsibilities and accountability. Yes, the federal government can bring pressure to be able to ensure that there is discipline in the maintenance of the accounts and financials of the Federal Capital Territory. We have several agencies in place. We have several uh, anti-corruption bodies in place. We have the, uh, the EFCC, the ICPC, the police, and what have you, that can be deployed. And it is within the capacity of the National Assembly to prove and put into the accounts of the Federal Capital Territory if there are suspicions that probably there are deviations from what the budget or the allocations or the finances or the Federal Capital Territory are meant to achieve. If there are deviations or there are misappropriations, the National Assembly can investigate and equally bring pressure to bear on keeping the administration in check. It is not only by, the, by ensuring that the Treasury single account is maintained in absolute fidelity by all government agencies that we can have transparency and financial accountability. I can bet you that whatever account, yes, in actual fact, the Federal Capital Territory Administration can be made to maintain one single account, which could be its own Treasury single account for the purpose of accountability. I want to believe that the Minister for the Federal Capital Territory, uh, His Excellency Yeson Wike, is conscious of this. And I will implore him that there should be a Treasury single account for the Federal Capital Territory Administration so that it does not fall into the crisis we had with respect to the Federation, in which case resources and finances and revenues of the federal government were found in more than hundreds accounts. Some could not be traced. Some that were traced could not be accounted for, which led to the federal government abolishing all such accounts in August 2015 under President Muhammadu Buhari and launched the need to have the Treasury single account. I want to believe that for the sake of transparency and accountability and good governance, the government of uh, His Excellency Yosem Wiki can ensure I almost ensure that there is a treasury single account to be maintained for the federal capital territory so that we don't have the financial crisis that Nigeria fell into over the years. Well, um, Mr. Dikuka, you mentioned earlier on um, when I asked you about this being an essential move for, you know, for developmental projects and provision of infrastructure that it's, it's a, you're, you're fine with it or you see reason with it based on over-centralization, which was what happened in Lagos, according to your perspective. And the federal government is, also, is doing all to ensure that the FCT will not fall into the crisis which befell it. So we understand that you're on board with this, but are there any concerns that you have that might be, that might be, that might be shortcomings as a result of this? when it's time for implementation? Yes, the, if, you, if you look into the past, you will realize that we had uh, certain challenges in the past. And I want to believe that the current administration will ensure that we don't have such challenges. For instance, when it comes to budget presentation to the National Assembly and appropriation to ensure that agencies, ministries, departments, and government projects are adequately and immediately financed. We find a situation where there will be a lot of delays in ensuring that appropriations are carried out. And in such a situation, you find months that MDAs are not able to pay for contracts done. They are not able to continue with implementation of projects and payment of contractors as I went due. And in such a situation, there is the tendency, there is the absolute uh, circumstance that such an MDA would not be able to perform critically at a time when people are expecting deliveries in respect of good governance. And it is to avoid a situation of that nature that a body like the, it is, this is not something, it is not an attempt to dissolve the single treasury account in its entirety, but to make sure that certain critical aspects of, uh, or maybe units of government are able to perform effectively. And that is what exactly leads to this. The concerns that we may have 
as you have rightly pointed out, is a question of accountability, a question of financial responsibility. It is possible that administrators, implementers may eventually run into, you know, when there is a, good, a great measure of freedom, a great measure of latitude allowed in human beings. Tendency is that such freedom will be abused. But that is why I said that such concerns can be adequately addressed by ensuring that other institutions of governance are enforced, are, are, are brought to bear to perform their responsibilities in this respect. You agree with me that what we need, we have always been saying it, that what we need is strong governmental institutions. And in having strong governmental institutions, you will see that you, you realize that the agencies of government that are supposed to perform certain responsibilities are often hampered by financial indiscretion on the part of maybe people that were supposed to ensure that finances are released on time. Now, a situation where we have a body like the FCT administration now having a measure of financial freedom, then the implication is that there is no room for excuse. President Bola Ahmed Tinobu is the kind of uh, leader that normally wants to ensure that if you say, if you are supposed to perform in respect of your responsibilities or assigned responsibilities, if you are in that office and you are not able to perform, it must be as a result of your fault. Not that maybe the president or the federal government has must you do. We actually saw that when he was the governor in Lagos State, in which certain individuals distinguished themselves in their various ministries. For instance, Dr. Moise Banere, now a senior advocate, was able to excel in the Ministry of Transportation. And also under Governor Fashola, he was able to excel in the Ministry of the Environment. The same thing happened to the then Attorney General or, and Commissioner for Justice of Lagos State. The implication is that given a great measure of freedom and empowering government officers and organizations to be able to deliver on their responsibilities is a critical element of good governance in itself. And this is what President Bola Ahmed Tinobu is aspiring to achieve. How much successful this is going to be is going to depend on the individuals, the, the principal actors that are supposed to carry out the responsibilities in this regard. But His Excellency Yeson Wike cannot complain now of financial incapacitation or financial incapacity insofar as he has been enabled, he has been empowered to have a great measure of freedom. How accountable he is, how financially responsible he is, will now be proven in the process of implementation of the duties of his office. Absolutely. And of course, we will be keeping watch on the developments in the FCT uh, following this new reform. Kunle Adegoke, SAN, thank you so much for your time.